Upon its establishment, the DPP has accomplished many events. But in its second decade, the beatification and canonization of the first Filipino martyr and Filipino saint, San Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, was definitely the highlight. He was born into a Chinese-Filipino family in Binondo, Manila. As he grew up, he would become a professional calligrapher and a member of the Confraternity of the Holy Rosary, founded by the Dominicans. Unfortunately, in 1636, his life took an unexpected turn as he was accused of being involved with murder when he was working as a clerk for the church. He was forced to seek refuge in another country, Japan, where he and his companions were tortured so that they would renounce their Catholic faith. Lorenzo Ruiz, despite the promise of returning to his family alive, did not give in to the pressure that resulted in his death. He, along with his company, was hung upside down for days. After their martyrdom, their bodies were burned and their ashes were thrown in the sea. It was centuries later after his death, on February 18, 1981, that Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions became the first group to be beatified outside the Vatican by Pope St. John Paul II in Manila. For this historic event, the Dominicans formed two notable committees for the celebration of the beatification. The Papal Visit Committee, led by Bishop Leonardo C. Legaspi O.P., and the Dominican Family Committee for the Beatification, led by Father Ramon C. Salinas O.P. He also headed the national movement which helped in the promotion of the cause and the cult of Blessed Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions. In preparation for the beatification, a triduum in honor of the new Blessed was held that same year. There came a national effort in spreading the devotion to Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila and his companion martyrs. To further promote the devotion to Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila and his companion martyrs, a shrine was established by Cardinal Sin in Dagat Dagatan and entrusted it to the Philippine Dominican province. St. Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila's story struck many people's lives. His refusal to renounce his faith despite the unimaginable torture he had endured was truly admirable, to say the least. He, along with his companions' devotion, will be forever be remembered.